Hi everybody, I am doing just a quick Target haul video. Um, I went to Target to pick up trolls for my kids and picked up a few things. Some I might keep for the Reborn, some I might end up donating, um, I'm not sure yet. But first of all, just before I left, um, I think Similac is trying to tell me something because I did not register for it. But I got a box with their samples and their formula checks. Um, I may end up keeping... I'm not exactly sure what all I'm going to do with them yet. Um, I may end up just keeping them as props. I may donate them. I'm not 100% sure yet, but for now they'll just sit right there. Um, and like I said at Target... Um, I got trolls for my kids, and there's Teffy. Teffy, you say hi. Boog, come here. Teffy, you say hi. Yeah, she's everywhere I go. Um, I got the kids' trolls. I got the party edition. Um, it's already been opened, and if you've seen on Instagram. I already have it in my van. My daughter watched it on the way home from school and was ecstatic that mommy bought it. Um, this was the little extras. I ended up getting five. So I got bought. Sorry about that. My son just scared the bejeebies out of me. I think I'm going to put a bow on him and my husband. Both of them keep sneaking up on me. Um, I purchased, I ended up purchasing five of these. Um, they are on cartwheel for 20% off. And I had in my van um, some Infamil checks for $5 off. And these were $3.10 um, for a box of six, I believe. Um, they're three, yeah. Well, let me see. Yep, six of them in here. It comes with six two-ounce bottle, Nurset bottles. Um, the Infamil ones do not, in their ready-made boxes, do not include the nipples like Similac does. Similac includes one nipple for every box you purchase, but I guess Infamil doesn't. Um, but anyways, um, I purchased these. Like I said, they were 20% off. And uh, fit them in the corner. They were 20% off, and I bought five of them. I did have to go. I went through the regular checkup. I had five rebate checks, so honestly, I got them all for free. Um, for now, I am just going to keep them. But. I will most likely end up donating them because they are good for a year. So, um, I did, for some reason, when I went to purchase them, because I used the rebate checks, the lady scanned my cartwheel, but it didn't take my cartwheel off. So I had to go to the service counter to get the refund for the 20% for the cartwheel. So if you have any of the rebate checks and you're going to use the 20% off to get these, um, if you have the rebate checks, um, just be aware, kind of watch your receipt. I watch my receipt anytime I purchase from Target when I use cartwheel because I've noticed numerous times, like, something will be on cartwheel and then... I look at the the scan cartwheel and then I'll look at the receipt later and it didn't come off. So I've gotten to the point where I just always check my receipt before I leave to make sure everything that I have in cartwheel did come off like should. These did not. Um, and I was a little irritated at the lady at the checkout. Um, she was accusing me of stealing from Target because I had five rebate checks and I was buying five of these. Um, the rebate checks do not have a maximum number like coupons do. Um, I know most coupons will say a limit of 
five or limit of four per transaction. The lady kept accusing me going, oh, you can only use one per transaction. I'm like, I, when my kids were on formula, all they could use is Similac. Even um, my daughter ended up going on WIC with her Similac, but it didn't cover all the Similac. So there was times that we would get the Similac checks and we would purchase like five, six cans at once and we'd have five or six coupons and I had never been questioned um, purchasing the formula with the coupons or not the coupons with the rebate checks until today and finally she rang up the first one or used the first rebate check and then she called over her manager to ask if she could do the rest of the managers like um I have never seen anything say that you can only do one check per transaction. And then she's like, well, have you tried running the other checks? And the cashier's like, well, no. And she goes, well, try running the checks. If it lets you run them, then it's fine. And it let her run all five of them. But yeah, she wasn't exactly the most friendly checkout person. Um, so... That was kind of my little haul from Target today. I didn't really have time. I was going to look at the baby clothes, but I didn't really have time to look at them just purely because I didn't even think about going to Target until it was almost time or a little before I had to leave to pick up my daughter. So I basically went to Target. The Trolls movie was by the door when you walk in. Um, I had seen these on Cartwheel. I didn't think I was going to purchase them today, but I had the coupons with me because I had seen them on Cartwheel. Um, so I ended up purchasing them and using them. I do have, because when you get that kit, you get some Similac one coupons. Um, if Similac comes up on Cartwheel for the ready-made bottles, I will probably get some Similac ones and like I said I'm just sitting these here for now but most likely I am going to donate them to uh, children's um, uh, children, to like a women's shelter because I know they can always use formula I know a lot of the people in the shelter do end up on WIC but especially these being newborn ones or um, the food pant local food pantry it might be another one because these are the newborn ones um, our state is an infamil state so, I mean, the hospital usually sends you home with maybe a box or two of these, but it can take up to, I at least know um, from experience with friends, sometimes it can take up to two weeks to get onto WIC, and typically a baby is going to drink one box of these a day, a newborn. At least in the experience of my kids, they drank when well, we did ready-made formula, they drink one a day, one box a day. And I'll just show you, Ryan, the baby's kind of sitting in this um, crib. I will be doing the video with her tomorrow, probably. Tomorrow, yeah, I will be. I just have to do it. I probably won't be done in my bedroom. It'll probably be done in the kids' playroom since that has the best light. Um... And honestly, I was thinking of packing her away, but I'm not sure yet. Just because, you know, I was thinking more and more, I might, like, roleplay-wise do, like, a day, life in the day of, and put her on a simulation, like a day simulation. Um, so, tomorrow, though, I'm just going to kind of run her, run through her functions and whatnot and kind of demo her. I know there's a video of a Real Care 2 that I sold, but that was just kind of a quick video for potential buyers. And then here is the two Cabbage Patch Kids. And there's Mr. Rory. I just need to change his shoes. And then we've got Ryan sleeping in her swing. So I hope everybody is having a good Tuesday. I will talk to you all later. Bye.